Hello everybody! This is our video solution to problem 1 from Quiz 6, Fall 2023, Math 307, Linear Algebra at Cal State Fullerton. And we are looking at bases and dimension again in this problem. Alright, it says for each of the following statements, indicate whether they are true or false, and we don't have to explain our work, and of course we here are going to explain the work. Uh, let's see, V is going to denote a finite dimensional vector space over a field F, and oh, it looks like the dimension of V is known to be some number N. Okay, let's see. The first statement says there exists a finite, linearly independent, spanning list of V. Now wait a second. V was finite dimensional, and here we're going to get a finite list, which is linearly independent, and it spans. Well, by gum, that's what we call a basis right there. Yeah. Does V have a basis? You betcha it does. It's a finite dimensional vector space. Any finite dimensional vector space has a basis. So this statement is true. All right, B. If a linearly dependent list spans V, then V has no basis. Ah, so maybe you're thinking, yeah, right, to be a basis, it has to span and be linearly independent, not dependent. And of course, that is true, that's what you need to have a basis, but just because you have some linearly dependent list that spans doesn't mean V doesn't have a basis. In fact, if I start with a linearly dependent list that spans V, I can reduce it to a basis, right? We have a theorem that says that. So this statement is false. All right, third one. Every linearly independent list in V has length n. Well, of course, you could just take the empty list, and that has length 0, and if n is not equal to 0, then yeah, this, is, this isn't going to work. Uh, it's very easy to have linearly independent lists. In fact, as soon as we find a basis, if you remove any of the vectors in the basis, you'll again get a linearly independent list. So they're not all going to have the same length. This statement is false. All right, part D, every spanning list in V has length n. All right, well, this is just as bad as the original one. If you have a spanning list, we know it has to be at least as long as a basis, so the length must be at least n. But of course, you can just keep on adding more vectors to it. It's going to keep spanning. So you can have spanning lists much larger than n. So this statement is also false. All right, E, every basis of V has length n. Ah, well, that's what C and D are somehow leading up to, right? This is actually a true statement. We know that if you have any two bases for a finite dimensional vector space, then they have the same length. In this case, we know that's n because that's exactly what the dimension of V is. It's the length of a basis. This is a true statement. All right, our sixth statement. If a list in V is linearly independent and has length n, then it is a basis of V. Ah, this is actually one of the problems from a previous quiz, and this is a true statement because if I have a linearly independent list, then I can extend it to a basis. But a basis will have length n, and this list already has length n, so no extension is needed. It must already be a basis. This is a true statement. Finally, a subspace of a finite dimensional vector space can have a higher dimension than the vector space itself. Of course, this is nonsense. We know if u is a subspace of v, then the dimension of u is always less than or equal to the dimension of v. We even know that the dimension of u equals the dimension of v if and only if u equals v. But it is not possible for a subspace to have a higher dimension than the vector space itself. This is something which is actually somewhat peculiar to linear algebra and vector spaces. You could go into more exotic situations, and maybe it's not so easy to see that this is true, uh, which is kind of an interesting thing in and of itself. In any case, this statement is false. All right, everybody, we will see you all next time.